Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have an article for you guys straight from T-Mobile's newsroom. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So in today's press release, we got a network update. And this is an interesting one because I made a video about device limitations um, a few weeks ago. I don't, I don't exactly remember if it was a week, two weeks, three weeks ago, whenever that was. And I was very clear in that video that the networks are now ahead of the devices again. So T-Mobile delivers another world, world's first with six carrier aggregation. So I want to be clear about this. This is good. This is great that T-Mobile is trying to move forward and advance and, and test and, and, and get everything ready. But in the short to midterm, in the next 12 months, there is not a single cellular commercial device that is releasing that is going to be able to do six carrier aggregation. So I just want to brace you guys for that. The next devices that are coming out this year are going to do five carrier aggregation. The six carrier aggregation are likely slated for next year. So, and if you're, and if you're an iPhone user, you should get five carrier aggregation September, October of this year. So you're going to have to wait till the end of 2025 in order for you to take advantage of six carrier aggregation. So that's just something that I, that I wanted to throw out there right away. This is a good thing. We need this innovation. We need T-Mobile to move forward. But the device limitations are there. No matter how you look at it, the device limitations are there. And also, how it performs also, also depends on your county's spectrum portfolio. That's where the fragmentation kicks in. You might really need six carrier aggregation just to get up to snuff to a market that can put out performance and speeds with just three or four carrier aggregation because the spectrum is more contiguous. See, a market like mine the spectrum is fragmented even just at 80 megahertz. I can't, even in my market, I can't achieve a single slice of 80 megahertz. T-Mobile has to aggregate it, 40 with 40. That's already taken up two slots on the carrier aggregation scale. So then you put N25, which is three, and you put N71, that's already four slots taken. So what about N66? What about another N25 carrier? What about another N66 carrier, which we do have two separate AWS carriers? You can't do it. You can't aggregate it all. And I didn't even bring up C-band and DOD. Let's not talk about that. How do we aggregate that? So again, you, you guys catch my, you guys get my point here. The device limitation is real, especially in a market that is actually going to take five, six, seven, eight carrier aggregation just to get to a total bandwidth of a market that can achieve that with just three or four carry aggregation. See, the markets that have 180 or 190 megahertz of 2.5, I mean, they get to 245 megahertz in no time. You know, N41 at 100, N41 at 80, that's two slots. You add another N25, 20 megahertz, right? You add uh, N71 at 15 or 20 megahertz, that's four, and, and, and you're well over 200. And then when five carrier comes out next year, I mean, if you include a C-band or a DOD uh, carrier on that, you might be doing 240, 250 with just five carrier aggregation. But see, for me and my market and how fragmented even N41 just is, I would need six, seven, eight carrier aggregation just to meet performance standards of some of the urban markets today. That are already performing like that today. So I would need, let's just give it a rundown. So I would need uh, one carrier on N41, another carrier on N41, N25, N71, that's four, N66, that's five, another N66, which we have AWS1 and AWS3, and then C band and DOD, that's eight carrier aggregation just to get to the performance that some markets are performing at today with three or four carry aggregation. Just let that sink in. And I know it's not like that everywhere, but there are a lot of counties out there, please believe, that are dealing with that fragmentation issue. 
And in some cases, it's a real problem, especially as T-Mobile has to stand up in performance against the competition. Verizon's coming in with a clean slate. They don't have to worry about 7, 8, 9, 10 carry aggregation. That's, the, that's also why they didn't buy uh, DOD, Department of Defense Spectrum, because they went big on C-band. They spent over $50 billion on C-band, and they have a clean slice of 161 megahertz on average across the United States. So what Verizon does, they put one carrier at 100 and the next carrier at 40 or, or 60, and that's all they have to do. They just have to aggregate those two. That's it. And then they can throw in their PCS holdings, their low band, whatever. They might be good at three, four, maybe five carry aggregation. Verizon's good. They don't need six. They don't need seven. They don't need eight. They don't need nine because they went big on contiguous slicing across the board. And in, in, in the rural areas, the smaller PEAs, Verizon has 200 megahertz of contiguous C-band. So they launch one carrier at 100, second carrier at 100, and then the rest is just added icing, uh, you know, icing to the cake. You know, so again, this is interesting. T-Mobile really has to push these uh, carrier aggregations, especially for the markets that are heavily fragmented, to get them up to performance against the other markets that are performing as great as what we've seen in LA, Boston, Rhode Island, two gigs, 2.5 gigs, San Diego. I mean, we're seeing T-Mobile great performance like that all across the board, but the markets that are fragmented can't meet that performance or match that performance because they're just, they're, they're, they don't have the type of bandwidth. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. Again, I rambled on for quite a while, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to get that out there. So this is good. But this is really actually needed for T-Mobile to advance this because, like I said, because of the fragmentation issue in some of the counties. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.